Hello again. I'm filming a video really soon again. Please excuse my messy hair. It's always like that. It's just how it be. But I had a friend message me that she also collects um, Japanese pottery, uh, MCM pottery. And so I wanted to show my planter collection, just any ceramics, chalkware that I have. And I think I'm also going to make this video um, my salt and pepper collection because a lot of those are ceramic as well. So yeah, I guess we're just going to start out with one of the first ones. This guy is one of my favorites. Oh, I love him so much. Um, I got him recently at an antique store and I just think he's so cute. I absolutely love him. And he has a Japan um, seal at the bottom of him. Just a little puppy. He's fuzzy and furry. I just think he's so cute. And then I'm going to go through these kind of fast because I just showed them in the last video. But here's that girl again. And she doesn't have any labels or anything on her. Um... And then this kitty doesn't either. I didn't have any labels or anything. And neither does this cookie jar. So I don't know what that's all about, but I wish I would know where they were from. And then I'm going to get this other, this is probably my favorite planter that I have. And I'm going to go get it. Here she is. I think this one's so cute, just a little lammy on top of her letter, and this has some writing on the bottom of it um, from the previous owner, let's see, from Aunt Hazel and Uncle Marty, I think, 1970, oh no, 1949. Yeah, 1949 how old this bank is, so an early, basically early 1950s um, planter from Aunt Hazel and Uncle Marty. <laughs> and now it's mine. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. I also have this little guy who's, I think, a salt and pepper shaker, but I only have one of them. I have a few of those like that. Um, I also have this one, which I was going to show in my haul video, but I edited it out for time. And this is a Ernesco Japan, an import. She's just a little kitty. I only have one of her. And these are pretty expensive. Like one of these is like 25 bucks. And that's about what I got for this one. Um, but I thought she was too cute, so I got her. <laughs> and I have this little planner, which I filled with wildflowers. This is one of the first antiques I got when I started collecting a few years ago. And it's just this kitty with a basket. And this one also doesn't have any labeling or anything. I have this little... Lammy, which has my bunny's fur in it. Um, I don't know why I put my rabbit's fur in there, but... And this does have a Japan um, marking on the bottom. Can't really see her. There she is. But yeah. Keep my rabbit in there. I'll show you guys these little cats. If this cat... Just like a glass pottery cat. The little pink bow. Now some of my other um, salt and pepper shakers I have. I think they're cute. I forget how much I got those for. And I'm going to go get the other planters now. I just wanted to give you guys an overview of what these shelves are like. This was my grandma's. Um, but I'm going to show you guys this one, this one, these, and then down here I have these guys. 
And then over here, I have this shadow box. And I'm going to show you guys some of these other ones too. Okay, so here's that Lammy planter. And I was trying to get this out, but I think my mom stuck that down in there. Um, yeah, she's cute. And this has just some numbering on the bottom. And I like her a lot. And then this is one of my favorite little ones. She's so cute. She didn't have any markings on them either. But I think she's adorable. Just a little bear. And I'm going to go get some of the other ones. So this is a, a ceramic figure. I believe this one's made by Rumpel. Um, just like the other lamb I showed in the video. But I have a ceramic one of it. And then I got this before I got either of the squishy lambs. And I have these salt and pepper shakers. Which are little bears. And I got these at... Uh, at a flea market for like just a few dollars. They're really cute. I have this deer, which isn't something I would buy nowadays. Um, I just don't really find it like kitschy enough. So this might be something I'd sell eventually or like actually use for a planter. Um, but yeah, this is one of the first things I got when I started going to antique stores. I got this one recently how cute he just shines it's like a little doggy with a with a um boot he has gold painting on him he's so cute i really like this one um i think i got him for like 10 15 dollars i like him a lot this hand which looks like it was glued back together here at the finger. Um, but yeah, this still has the price on it. I got this for $18. Has a, just a hand with a shell. I thought it was cool. Oh wait, I think I have one more planter left. So these are my last two planters. I'm pretty sure. I have this Mother Mary one. Um, and my friend got the better one of these. Um, we were, uh, antique shopping in Ohio, at the Heartland of Ohio. It's the biggest antique store I've ever been at. And they had, like, a little Mary and Jesus that was pink. And I really liked it, but I let her get it. So, I got this one, which is pretty common to see at antique stores. This also would be one I'd probably sell eventually. This one and the deer. This is also one of the first things I got. It's like a swan planter. And this has a tag at the bottom. I think it says like impress, impresso or something. Um, it's like a, a blue tag with a cross. So... I might have to look into what this is. Maybe it's kind of valuable. I don't know. Now we're on to the rest of the salt and pepper shakers. So I've already shown you two of them with these ones and the cats. But I also have some non-glass ones. This one still have the tags. I got this these for $10. Sometimes I like to keep the tags on just so I know what I paid for them. There are these little cute puppies. These sit on my desk. I'll show them again because they're really cute. So I have these little birdies, which are like music makers and salt and pepper shakers. And these are by Commodore Japan. So there's this one, and this one, 
and I like them a lot. They're really cute. They are some of my favorites as well. I got them recently. I got these ones this year. More salt and pepper shakers. These are more puppies. These are also Japan ones. They have a Japan tag on the bottom of them. They're really cute. These are some of my favorites too. On these guys, I actually have a creamer and salt and pepper shakers. And I got these separate, believe it or not. But I think these are really cute. They're little cows. So I have this cow and this one. Very cute, very special. These are some of the first salt and pepper shakers I got. And then I have, this does have Japan on the bottom. I have this cow. It's a creamer, I think. It's really cute. And that's all the, like, ceramic animals I have. I do have chalkware, and I could show you guys that. I'll show you guys what's in my bathroom right now. Here's the other chalkware item I have, along with these, um, I don't know, pictures? <laughs> yeah, this one's chalkware. I think it's really pretty. And the other chalkware lambs. I can't actually find, so I'm going to have to insert a picture of those in. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, it was kind of a mis mismatch of things, mishmash. But um, yeah, that's a lot of my collection, really, as I look at it, um, at least in this area of my room. So yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe, please, if you want to. Like this video if you want to. And I'll see you guys in another video soon. I'm probably going to do a Rushton um, stuffed animal collection soon. And then I'll probably do my squeak toys. And then eventually we'll get to dolls. I still have a lot of content I could make. I just wanted to make this one now because a friend reached out to me and said she collected these too so yes thank you for watching like i said and bye